Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back today with the video you guys have been requesting. As you know, I just did a video where I unboxed the 72 set of Derwent Intense pencils and I did a test at the end to kind of show you how they work and the vibrancy in the color after they were activated with water. But of course you only saw a couple colors. So today as greatly requested, we are going to go ahead and get all of these swatched onto our swatch sheet. And when I swatch them, I am probably going to color with them and then I may only do half with water because I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the Derwent Intense pencils, but you can either straight color with them if you really want to, but the vibrancy and the beauty of these is once they're activated with water, then once you activate with them with water and then they dry, you're able to add more color on top of that to create more vibrancy once you then again activate it with more water. So that is how they work. And I'll show you more of that when I bring you the next video where I color something with them. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and swatch them. And I have pretty much already filled out my entire swatch sheet, the ones that I always use that I just find on the internet. I'll have it linked down below if y'all are interested. And I've already filled out all the color names, as you can see. And so we are ready to just start swatching. And I am going to go ahead and start swatching them. And I think if the video seems to get a little too lengthy, then I'll go ahead and speed it up to music and then we'll look at the colors. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn on your bell notifications so that you always get notified every time I post a video. And if you enjoy videos like this, please make sure that you do like this video because it helps my channel out a lot and it will continue to recommend my videos to you in the future. So let's go ahead and get on with the swatching. So as always, I start with white. So the white here is called antique white. And so I'm just going to come all the way down with my swatch. And I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to add the water at the end. So the next color we have is the Sherbert yellow. And then we have Sun Yellow. Some of these I have not yet sharpened. And I didn't want to take the time to go ahead and sharpen everything right now, but I will later. Some of the colors I haven't colored with yet, so that's why they're not sharpened yet. I've got Cadmium Yellow. Sicilian yellow and these seem to be in a pretty good order already as they were in the tin so I really didn't rearrange much except for I think one of the purples this is golden yellow but I think one of the purples and then I always like to put my white to the front so I moved my white to the front like I always do in front of the very first yellow this is Sienna Gold. This is Cadmium Orange. I'm going to try to go fairly quickly here so that we could get to the part where we activate them all with water because you all know that are familiar with these that that is where the magic happens. This is Burnt Orange. Tangerine. Mid Vermilion. Scarlet Pink. And then we have Poppy Red. This is one of my favorite colors that I've used already. A 
Look how much better they work when they've been sharpened. This is hot red. I seem to be doing this fairly quickly. And there's only 72 of these pencils. It's not like we're going through 150 of them. Then we have chili red. Carmine pink. Crimson. Then we have Shiraz, I think maybe is how you pronounce that, Shiraz. Now we're getting into the purples and we have this really pretty red violet. I wonder if this one's going to look more red when we activate it with water. Then we have fuchsia. Oh, this is pretty. Then deep rose. I should have sharpened all of these. They really do go down so much better when they're sharpened, like any other pencil. This is Thistle. Mauve. Somewhere in here is where I swapped around two of the colors that, yeah, the mauve and the dusk, dusk, or dusky purple. I believe I switched around. We'll see if I made the right choice now. This is the dusky purple. Yeah, see how much darker it gets? And this is not how they were laid in the package. These were actually laid out in a pretty good order. This is dark purple. Wow, that is really dark. I wonder how much more purple it's going to look once we activate that with water. This is deep violet. This is violet. Lagoon. Peacock blue. We're almost done with the first tray. We have navy blue. Iron blue. Then we have deep blue. Well, this is a gorgeous color. I was using this one. I love deep, bright colors. This one is iris blue. bright blue deep indigo and then we have sea blue this is a pretty color Okay, so that is the first tray. So the first color we have is the dark marine. Another gorgeous blue. Then green marine. Mallard green. Teal green, iron 
iron green. Iron tan, iron tan green, I think. This one is called Vivid Green. Oh, and that's a gorgeous bright green. Looks like Christmas. Some of these greens I probably would have reordered a little bit, but that's okay. Apple Green. And then we have Field green. Beach green. Hooker's green. Those of you that did not already see my unboxing of these, I will make sure that's linked in the upper right hand corner so that you can go back and watch that one. This is felt green. Then we have light olive. Spring green. Fern, Leaf Green, you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you're swatching your Derwent ink tents along with me. And if you don't already have these, I'll have a link for them down in the description below. Of course, I'll check where you could get the best price first, because you guys know me, I'm always about Saving money and getting the best price. This one was mustard. This is amber. But the two best places to order these are either um, Blick Art Supplies. This is tan. Or Amazon. And Amazon does not always have the cheapest price. So I'll have a link for you for the Blick below, just in case they are the cheapest ones. Of course, I'll check when I'm getting ready to do the description of this video so that you guys do get the best price. This is Oak. Saddle Brown. But you guys know I'm always trying to make sure y'all get the best deals when you buy your coloring supplies. I'm all about saving money. Baked Earth. Willow. We are getting close to the end. We are on Red Oxide. Matter Brown. Dark Chocolate. Bark. I can't wait to color something for y'all with these. Everybody in the Facebook group keeps asking me and I'm like, I haven't even done the swatching video yet. <laughs> Sepia ink. I've been working so hard on the beginner series. Indian ink. And then for those of you that don't know that didn't see the post in my Facebook group, I'm also working on other things outside of YouTube and my Facebook group. That was Indian ink, if I didn't already say that. Chinese ink. I'm also working on starting a Patreon. This is Chinese ink. 
and I'm trying to offer y'all more there and expand beyond what I'm already offering you. This is charcoal gray. And I plan on having three different tiers, but I'm still working on it and that will come soon. Payne's gray. But you guys will get to see exclusive stuff that is not available on my other uh, social media platforms if you're one of my patrons. Natural gray. And I think it'll be fantastic just to build another community outside of Facebook. That was ink black. And this one is the outliner. And this is actually not part of the other pencils. This does not get activated with water. This is if you want to do line drawings. Or Let's go ahead and here's all the colors. So pretty. We're going to go ahead and I've got my water brush here. And we're going to start activating these with water and see what they look like. This water brush, these are also Derwent. I wanted to make sure that I got the name brand ones and didn't cut corners anywhere there because I've had a lot of people, um, or I've seen a lot of people talk about how if you, you know, buy the cheaper ones, sometimes they leak and I just didn't want to take any chances and have to rebuy them. Sometimes it's better to just spend a little bit of extra money ahead of time because you end up double spending and then end up costing more just because you wanted to save a little bit to begin with. Make sure when you're using these that you do have a napkin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave half of it and then I'm going to activate it from halfway down because I want to see the difference in what it looks like just laid down and then what it looks like once it's been activated by water. So, and I'm going to have to brush my brush off in between each one. So I'm just going to kind of leave my napkin here and show you how that's done. So, squeeze some water out and I'm going to come halfway here and I'm just going to activate this with water. Of course, this is white, so, oh, look at that. And my, um, my ink for my printed out swatch is coming off, so I'll have to make sure I stay off of the black it got into the white look how much more vibrant the color changes so much I think I need a little bit more water I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame Look how vibrant and intense they get once they have been activated. But I just really wanted to do it half and half because I want to be able to see the difference. Of course, if you were to let it dry and come back and add more color, you can get even more vibrancy out of that. And again, I'm trying to be very careful not to go over that black because I don't want to do what I did to the white. But I need enough water on my brush to move the color around. The more water with these, the better, but you don't want to completely saturate it. And I know a lot of you that watch my videos are colorists and color and coloring books. So some of the coloring books you also need to be kind of careful because some of the paper in some of the coloring books will not handle this as well. 
This paper that I did my swatch on is the Nina paper and it is working beautifully with these. Oh, look at these reds. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Look how pretty. Okay, so let's come back down here. We are going to start on the next row with Cherry. I think I need a little bit more water. Carmine Pink. Crimson. It'll feel great to finally have this video out because now I could actually use these and film for you guys. Oh my goodness, look at the difference in the color. Swatching is, if you have these or you plan on buying them, swatching these now that I'm seeing this is going to be extremely important because the color once you activate it with water is just completely different these are gorgeous colors Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I had one of these for so long. Look how pretty. Okay, so I think the video is getting a little bit longer now. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch out the rest of these and I'm going to add music in right here. Okay, so here is all 72 of the colors. I think I'm in frame. Let me back up just a little. They're absolutely beautiful. Down here where I had the outliner, I just kind of made some little squiggles with it just because I wanted to just remember that it's in the pack. <laughs> just in case one day I do decide to use it. But you can see how the color changes dramatically and it just creates so much more vibrancy. And again, you guys, um, once they dry and you add more pigment, you can activate the top layer and then it will create even more vibrancy to these colors as you stack layers. So that's how they're supposed to work and they're really wonderful and you could even actually take your colored pencils like your Prismacolors or even another Derwent set that you might have 
and you could layer and do your shading and everything over the top of them with your colored pencils, Prismacolors, Polychromos, whatever you want. So they're really cool. If you would like to check these out on your own, like I said earlier while I was swatching, I will check for the cheapest prices and I will have the um, links down below in the description box for you to go ahead and check them out. I hope that you're able to get yourself a set of these wonderful pencils because they are really amazing. I can't wait to color with them in a future video very soon here, not too off, far off in the future, but very, very soon. So if y'all enjoyed this video and you would like to continue to keep seeing my videos, please make sure you do subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure that you give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel out a lot. I hope y'all have a fabulous day. Happy coloring. Bye.